the time has come to obsess over this goddamn quest. Like, we're not gonna pass this up. It's fucking time and shit. Shit. It's so many sodas. I really wish I could just, like, pin it, though. Wait, I can. I have the power. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Where's the map, first of all? There it is. Look. Can I zoom in on that asshole? It's fine. Alright, uh, print screen, which will include OBS in the framing. And we're gonna open Microsoft Paint. I'm gonna paste that into Microsoft Paint. I'm gonna crop it down to just the part of the screen that had the map in the OBS preview window. I'm gonna zoom way the fuck in on that. Put it over here, where I can see it on the screen. Aha! Now I can look at this at the same time as I play the game. I have a chance. My something. <laughs> something like a chance. Hmm. Okay. So now I can rotate the map visually and see that the... yeah. Yeah, it's not- north is not north on this map. Assuming my map has- is, has north, then this map does not north correctly. Uh, but I believe that I can rotate the- how do you, can I rotate this- in this? Maybe I can't. <laughs> I know how to rotate in other softwares, but not this one necessarily. Shit. Oh no, rotate. I was too zoomed in. So the features weren't showing up, because I had to- the window was was cropped down too small. Okay. So I've rotated this the map third, uh, 90 degrees to the uh, counterclockwise direction. Or left, as paint says. Uh, and now it does match the river we're seeing on the screen here, where it, it comes out of the left side of the screen, goes down, then up, then back to the middle, and goes out the right side of the screen. Yeah. Does that make sense, though? I think it does make sense. Yeah. Technically, I could rotate this, the entire map another 180 degrees, and because of the, the symmetry of this river we're looking at on this map here, it would still be shaped the same way, which is kind of unfortunate. That's just the reality of the situation, is that no matter what direction you make the map, the river face. It's gonna have the down on the left and up on the right formation, because it's symmetrical. But... Looking at the map like this, there are a lot of similarities between the roads. We have a road that goes straight across from left to right under the river. That's a big road, that's the main one. Then we have another road that comes from the top left and then curves downward through the river and then goes after it hit, goes curves past the river goes straight down the middle, which we see here. Let's zoom in a little bit here. It's like here's the main road that goes left to right across the middle, and then here is the long curvy road that cuts down the middle. That's there too. Then there is this, more or less, something vaguely like this, is on the bottom of the screen, where this this road splits off to a parallel road. Which you can kind of see in, like, the blueprint of how this place kind of works. There's a bunch of mutations, like a bunch of other inroads were added over time, and the market was added here, and then eventually they must have added a road that connects these two together. Basically, this just became a high traffic area, so tons of roads were added, but the original road was probably like this. So that makes sense. And then from this big curvy road, there's a part on the uh, treasure map where it goes and it splits upward like this. Then it just goes straight out right off the map. So that matches too. The takeaway is that... Still a little unhelpful, honestly. <laughs> but basically, my original answer was already correct, which is, is somewhere in here. <laughs> it's just... Uh, it's not great. Specifically, it looks like it's right here, based on the river's location, which I can't even go to, so like... Eh? Just fuck it. <laughs> it's a quest, we're gonna do it. 
And it seems like that's the best information we're gonna get. From beyond that point, we just need to run around like a lunatic. And try to find any kind of interaction spot in the entire area. Just anything, basically. And I don't know what I'm looking for, is the problem. Because I don't think I'm- I already checked the one dirt area, so I don't think I'm gonna dig up the treasure myself. I just need to find a spot where Kiryu can interact. And then he can be like, yo, found it. Sweet dude. Bro. Brosif. Yeah. Bro. Bro? Bro. Bro. Okay, so this dirt area can't be it because it's actually south of the river. We have to be north of the river. That's like our starting point. It would be funny if it was an aqua sky, but I don't know if that's going to be really a possibility. When you're inside of places, you often are in activity mode where you don't really have full freedom for interacting. But I, I think it's going to be like a business. That's another cabaret club. That's just an alternate entrance to the cabaret club? According to the map, the treasure should be somewhere around here. Sure, I'll believe you. I'll give Tabayashi a call to let him know. I'm a genius. Just gonna go save map to my desktop real quick. There we go, and close. There we go. There we go. Hello? This is Tabayashi speaking. It's Kiryu. You know, the place that's marked on the map you gave me? Well, I found somewhere just like it. You did? Well, where is it? It's in a parking lot in Hatsumachi, near Kariokakan. You can't miss it. Okay, hold on. I'll be right there. Come. Oh, so, here? Yes. If this is the Kubochi River, then this is the big street, then yep, this is the place. Mm -hmm. Wait a second now. It's all coming back to me. Yes, it's starting to remember- I'm starting to remember where we buried it. I don't believe them. <laughs> like, I don't think this matches the map quite. Like, it's- I think it's like a block off, basically. But whatever. The treasure ought to be right behind this parking lot. Well, I'll go take a look-see. Maybe nobody's dug it up yet. Wait, be behind the entire parking lot? So, so it isn't where I'm standing right now. This is just the uh, really arbitrary interaction spot that lets me talk to him about it, I guess. Because the spot appears to be inside all of the buildings. Weird. Could this Yamashita treasure really exist? I guess we're able to find about to find out. Well, did you find anything? I did. There's a vacant lot behind this parking lot, and I found these buried under a statue out there. These are... a bunch of letters? That's what the Yamashita treasure is? To be honest, this ain't the Yamashita treasure at all. They're letters from soldiers to their families that I left here during the war. What were you doing with a bunch of letters? Well, you see... During the war, I was too young and frail to be sent out to the front lines. Instead, I worked as a postman for the soldiers fighting here in Okinawa. And the only thing that kept our spirits alive throughout all the death and dying were these letters, both to and from loving families eagerly awaiting our return. But then the war turned out too ugly for us to handle, so we pulled out of Okinawa and never looked back. I couldn't bring myself to send these sorrowful let letters written by sons who sacrificed themselves in the war effort. Instead, I buried them here and left like a coward. I... I never delivered these soldiers' final words to their families, and the guilt's been hanging over my head for a long time now. So that's what this is about. I'm sorry. The whole search for the Yamashita treasure was a lie. Hope you can find it in your heart to, believe to forgive me. Don't worry about me. I'm just curious as to what you'll do with those letters now that you have them. Hmm. I know a lot of time's gone by, 
But I'd still have to deliver these to the families of the deceased. Okay, I'm gonna googling ya uh, Yamashita treasure. Yamashita gold bars discovered December 2016. Yamashita treasure, myth or real? Top five Yamashita discovered treasures. Wait, what? That's <laughs> top five? I think there's just supposed to be one, right? Yamashita's gold has been found and it's not what you think. 2016. From the Rappler? Is that a real website or a bullshit website? The never-ending search for General Yamashita's fabled gold is a peculiar Filipino pastime. In almost every corner of the nation, am amateur treasure hunters explore caves, peer under flagpoles, and excavate how house posts in hopes of striking rich. Ask any Filipino and they'll spin a good story about an uncle or friend of a friend who was convinced they knew exactly where X marks the spot. Hmm. Okay. Can you just tell me what the fuck the treasure is? Oh god, this is a very long article. Long enough that it actually sounds like it's a real article written by somebody that's not full of shit or something. Eh, I, don't have, I don't have time for this. <laughs> it's way too long of an article and it's really unclear where the answer is, if it's anywhere in there, about what it's, the treasure's supposed to be. Maybe it's the maybe the treasure is the friends you made along the way. But yeah, this appears to be a real thing and not uh, something that was made up for Yakuza. They're, 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 they're referencing something here, and that's why I was supposed to be like, Oh my god, the Yamashita treasure? That's like El Dorado or something. And then he's like, actually, it's these letters. So it's the it's the player that's supposed to be like let down by this revelation because Kiryu wouldn't give a fuck. Kiryu doesn't care. That's not his thing. He's just helping someone because he's crazy like that and can't stop himself. <laughs> hmm. I know a lot of time's gone by, but I'd still like to deliver these to the families of those deceased and gone. Who? Oh, those families are now probably deceased and gone. Once I do that. I'll finally be able to put the war behind me. I see. I'll give you what was buried with the letters. It's old, but a man like you could still use it. You got antique chainmail. Thank you so much, young man. I'll remember your kindness as long as this old heart keeps thumping in my chest. Farewell. Here, I can be more helpful here, though. We can we can Google Gen General Yamashita. There we go. Tomoyuki Yamashita was a Japanese general in the Imperial Japanese Army during World War II. There we go. Yeah, I figured it was World War II. He was able to hold on to part of Luzon until the formal surrender of Japan in August 1945. He was tried for war crimes committed by troops under his command. Yeah. Unsurprisingly, this is not a brief thing to look into. <laughs> it's the history and, and so on of World War II is like a lot to unpack. But I, was, I was curious what was going on here. Because I don't know what it meant exactly. But I was really curious. Alright. So we found it. There we go. I still like to say that the real Yamashita is Shita treasure is the the war crimes we committed along the way. I mean, the friends we met along the way. Oop, that's that's guy's gonna attack me. I saw him, and it seems finding this has made something else pop up on the map. You never know. You never really know which side quests are gonna cause that. That's right, one less thing I can keep worrying about. And hopefully I'll remember to edit the map into the thing so that you have a little more to look at during that point, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you're the man from before. Looks like you're getting pretty friendly with that beautiful brunette, wink wink. Wow. I don't like how you're, you're following me around. That was in a bar. Did, were you there? Even watching us? That's not what's important. Yeah, it is. What really matters is your heart. Listen. You'd like to be more intimate with a female companion in more ways than one, right? So, why don't you buy our love handbook right now for 55,000 yen? I'm pretty sure the title says it all, if you know what I mean. So, 
Will you take the plunge and witness your love life changed forever? Or are you fine being bone dry? I don't think Kiryu has issues. I think he's fine, honestly. We seen him. And then all the other characters <laughs> walking around. He's he's got serious like JoJo protagonist like flair going on here. Like spot the protagonist. Fifty-five thousand yen should all be here. Mm, nice and crisp. <laughs> mm, this is just the right kind of money. My favorite money. Well, here's your love handbook. It's practically a conversational Kama Sutra. You know, we normally have other uses for language than just the fucking, but okay. Phew. Okay. Here it is. Conversing in the bedroom. Why don't you come to my room? Let's make sweet, passionate love. Now, before you get too excited, remember, whether she gives you a yes or a no depends on how smooth you are. Hee <laughs> hee. And also fucking consent, but okay. It's like, you don't, it's not just a matter of whether or not you earned it right by behaving correctly and passing, picking the right dialogue options. That's not how anything works. Our English handbooks give you exactly what you need to know so you can be the lover you're truly meant to be. Now I hope you enjoy the course, and as we say in English, have a nice day. I have to differentiate them because otherwise I'm just saying English and then more English. Like, in the original version, it had to be like, it had to be Japanese and then suddenly a bunch of spaced out awkward English thrown into the middle of all of the Japanese. It probably wasn't even spaced out like that. It, they, prob they probably did that to differentiate between the English and the English. Because otherwise you wouldn't even be able to tell. Because it's all English. Oh, Kiryu, my knight in shining armor. Hey, good to see you. Why don't you come to my room so we can have a little fun? Wow, fucking f forthright with this one. The English handbook mentioned something along the lines of what she said. Or at least, what I thought she said. English can be a beast sometimes. Let's make sweet, passionate love, Kiryu! That's... what? That's a fun howdy do to you, Jesus. Just like, hi, welcome, hello. If she's asking for my love, then the only right answer is... <laughs> yes, please! Oh, Kiryu, I knew you were a real man! The way I'm voicing this dialogue crossed with her face really, really seals the deal. She looks like a chatbot in person. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, I think it's partly the uncanniness of like an awkwardly rendered like white person in the middle of this ga game full of Japanese characters. And it's like, there's something just off about how it came out. <laughs> but also it's the old PS3 graphics and it's the dialogue. <laughs> Now come show me how real you are. Let's go. <laughs> show me how real you are. Oh no, she is a chatbot. <laughs> well, this is Stacy's room. What a lady. I, I think she just rented it. She hung up like a painting. That's just a picture of some fucking stairs. <laughs> ah ha ha. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, but before you get down and dirty, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. The English school teacher just fucking showed up. This is all a ruse. What the? What are you doing here? Allow me to introduce a special instructor's course, only available to valued customers who've purchased all the handbooks, such as yourself. Once you've registered for the instructor's course, you'll be qualified for a 15% profit margin on every handbook you sell. Sounding good already? But wait, there's more! I don't want to be a part of your fucking pyramid scheme! Why would you think- oh my god. Look at how her eyes are rendered. She's- she's a- she looks like a character from Deadly Premonition that just plopped down in the middle of this game. She has a different polygon count. She's from a different game. What the fuck is happening with the white lady? <laughs> is she okay? <laughs> You'll be able to receive a 5% of tuition fees from any and all instructions, instructors that sign up for the program through you. You'll be rolling in cash before you know it. The instructor's course is totally a great deal, Kiryu-san. Let's become English teachers together. Wait. Your Japanese isn't broken at all. You're fluent. 
Well, duh. And besides, if you sign up for the instructor's course, I can instruct you on a more intimate level. I... This is... This is definitely... Not allowed. <laughs> this is definitely like it's one that she first she baited me into this and she's actually part of the organization which i which like that's that's basically you could just see that coming but she's like and also i'll still fuck you and it's like well, hang on this this isn't how you're allowed to hire people i don't think japanese japanese has a completely different rule here than we do this seems wildly unethical if you register now, I'll mark off some additional fees and bump it up to 250,000 down to down to 250,000 yen. Not a bad idea, right? All right, let's just see where this plot line goes, or it's just gonna end here. I don't know. 250,000 yen. I guess I could part with that. You've made the right choice. Now then, here's your instructor's handbook. Here you, son. Instruction instructor registration is at the end of next month. Once you finish that, we can send the promoter's handbook to your address and you can start making that money. Oh, and promoter's handbooks are 50,000 yen each. Let me know when you want one, okay? What? Bye, Kiryu-san. Oh, before I go, you can have this. This is the stuff that really gets you in the mood. A regular Toriner. And that's that's the only that's the only thing that comes out of this entire quest is a fucking Toriner. It's like the least useful item in the game. It's the weakest version of the heat booster. <laughs> I think it's over. I don't think there's more quests in this chain. <laughs> it was just another nightmare pyramid scheme the entire time. <laughs> oh god. What hell? I definitely just threw away a quarter million for no reason at all but i honestly was just i was just wanted to keep enabling the quest line to see what happens or because it was really funny and also once upon a time that was a lot of money but nowadays every other random fight i get in over the course of this uh mla uh hla hla quest ch chain gives me like 200 grand each time it's like it's it nothing makes sense anymore Ow. Ow. Shit. Ooh, I used the shelf thing. I haven't done that yet. That's out of the training scenario. I was a naughty boy. Okay, okay, enough. I get it, all right? You beat it into me. Man, I don't know why I'm reading this. But yeah, money doesn't mean a lot to me, so... If, if I think a story will come out of it, I'll pretty much throw it away at this point. That's the logic at this point. I think the game might be over soon? I mean, we're in, like, chapter 10, so... Basically, yes. As a matter of fact. This is gonna be a little bit of a weird place to fight, but okay. I'm gonna kill him with a fish. I ran past him. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, he's up here. With a fish. Shove it down his throat like in identity. No, you're not the real one. Then he'll choke on a, a fish death. Then the fish will thaw and slide down his throat and then he'll be like, ah, oh, he ate a fish before he died. Nothing suspicious here. We no, we have no idea what caused the death. It's, we'll never figure it out. Damn. We'll just never know. The secret. Like one of those really dumb riddles. Where it's like, ah, he was stabbed to get death with an icicle, but then the icicle melted, so there's no murder weapon. What could have happened? I don't know what did it. Whoa. Like those dumb riddles you hear about. Except it'd be a fish, and, and there'd be an entire undigested fish in his stomach, so they'd be like, wow, this guy unhinged his jaw and swallowed an entire fucking mackerel. 
and then died for unrelated reasons. Are you Eason? What do you want with our master? The Honest Living Association. I said MLA earlier, like MLA formatting. The Honest Living Association sent me to track down the Reaper hitmen. Our master is a member of the Reapers, but he hasn't done anything to deserve getting hunted down. He's a member of the Reapers! This is a fucking hitman organization! Did you, do you know what words mean? I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Sorry, but I can't do that. I have a lot of questions for him. And your name is? Kiryu. What have you come to see me about, Kiryu-san? I'm looking for the leader of the Reapers. You know something about him, don't you? Even if I did, do you really think I'd tell you? So you do know something. I'm gonna make you talk, no matter what it takes. We'll take it from here, Master. Alright. If you won't leave on your own, we're going to have to throw you out. Fine. Bring it. Oh, very well. Oh, can I throw him off the balcony? I missed that heat action. I haven't done it in, like, a few games. I was so fucking blown away the first time it happened. He disappeared off the bench. <laughs> master. He's a master of fucking deception, apparently. Master of cool disappearing acts. Master of being a badass. Ando. I loved you in Heroes. Oh. And then they ruined you. Like everyone else in Heroes, basically. Hey. Stop that. More benches! Your master will never sit again! Ha ha! Ah, uh. oh, he slumped right before that happened. Hey, rude. Ah! Master, we failed you. No, he's a formidable opponent. But he won't be he won't take me without a fight. Let me try a hand at him. Oh, did all the benches respawn? <laughs> they did. Yay. Hi. Benches. Excuse me. Benches. Uh, but my benches! Oh my god. Oh god. Right, this is this quest chain. What the 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 fuck did he What the fuck? This is cheating! This is definitely cheating. Ow. What the fuck? Ow, why doesn't the Kamaki thing work? He just put stun bombs on my body. After he knocks me down, then puts a stun bomb on me so that I'll just get stunned when I get back up. What the fuck? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Leave me alone! No! <laughs> this is cheating. No. What? What? That drops a tiger. <laughs> what anime moment am I having right now? It's over 9,000. No, I, I hit X. Motherfucker. I hate that you can punch while you're being grabbed. Because I, I do it on accident constantly. I, oh god, why are you immune to attacks? <laughs> Why won't my thing work? Work! 
Why don't my attacks work? Fucking work! What? There we go. Why? <laughs> Please hit me? Motherfucker! They're cheating. He literally reads my inputs. <laughs> he explicitly waits for me to press any button that lets that he can punish, and then he instantly punishes me. As a, with us as a superhuman AI. <laughs> God damn it. Ow. Yes. I think I'm starting to memorize what the buttons are. You're pretty good. You're not really in any condition to fight, are you? What the fuck planet are you talking about, Kiryu? Ah, uh, you found me out. Yes, you're right. An old injury of mine never healed upright. I can't fight like I used to anymore. But the fact that you can still fight as well as you do proves you truly are a great master. Who told you about me? Kotaro. A man I once fought before. He's your student, isn't he? Yes, Kotaro. How is he? He lost his way for a while, but he's starting to clean up his act. I'm sure you pointed him in the right direction. Thank you very much. I'm the one who confronted him, but the Honest Living Association did the rest. The HLA. If they've helped a student of mine, I should go thank them. I don't know how many details about the- I don't know many details about the Reapers, though. I've only ever talked to a man who was some sort of scout for them. Scout? You mean like a lookout or a recruiter? Recruiter. He looked for people who'd be a good fit for the Reapers and got them to join. He said his name was Shinzaki. Shinzaki. Got it. Most Reapers. And that goes for me as well. Don't know anything about anybody above Shinzaki. Alright. So this Shinzaki guy is the point of contact for all Hitman. That's valuable information. Thank you. Why don't we go to the HLA and talk more there? Alright. That sounds like a good idea. I'll call somebody to take you there. I get the idea here, it's like, it's a series of quests that are all about doing big fights, and so the point is you want, is that the player should want to do the fights, because it's like a fight chain, and all the quests are just an excuse to a fight. So you never question whether or not you should fight, because fighting is like the goal, essentially. But I'm not really necessarily in that camp of like, ah, fight or bust, must do more fight, rawr. It's like, that's all you do, that's, you do that kind of constantly in the game, I don't need necessarily more. I'm not gonna be like, oh man, that one. If that fight was missing, I, would have I wouldn't have loved this game as much. <gasps> so instead, I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at these situations, I'm just like, Kiryu! <laughs> fucking de-escalate, man! <laughs> like, ev basically everyone has turned out to be reasonable so far. And it's like, you could have just talked to them. And in this case, it's like, hey, I was sent here by one of your students. Maybe mention that instead of saying, I'm going to do all it takes to get the information out of you, even if I'm going to kill you myself. Rawr. I'm like, damn, Kiryu. Maybe don't. <laughs> Egami, the blind hitman. 
Does not use weapons, but is extremely skilled. Sighted at Ryukyu Boulevard in downtown Ryukyu. Your target hitman is Egami, who, uh, according to our sources, is blind. He lost his eyesight due to an incident during a previous hitman assignment. Despite the setback, he continues to take on his hits and has an excellent track record. While that may be hard to believe, his success as a hitman stands as evidence that he is a true master of murder. Do not underestimate him. Thank you, sir. There's a blind man, and he's gonna kick my ass, probably. Cause all the other ones do, too. So escape from holds faster and get more health, or... More heat. Let's do more health. But yeah, your go-to button is hitting square for a lot of the combat, so in, in any kind of big f combat situation, you are probably tapping it at least a little bit. And so when you get grabbed by someone, Kiryu goes and punches at nobody in a dumb direction, and then you instantly fail the grab because you weren't mashing X enough, and I'm just like, God damn it. No matter how much it comes up in these games, I can never seem to escape that pattern. In general, the QTEs are very Q, as it turns out. In all the different contexts, the QTEs come up, come up and the Q is very much the emphasis. Hello. I would like food food. Ra fute soba. Damn. That fills you right up. Granny's got her shit together. Alright, going right back. <laughs> did uh did the plot point just spawn on Granny after I walked away? What happened there? What are those, what's going on, Granny? Granny? Oh no! Granny! You idiot. How do you expect to deliver all those orders? I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had so many of them backed up like that. Do you honestly think you can deliver these all by yourself? No. Ah, I apologize. I didn't mean for you to see us like this. Is something wrong? It's just that this dumbbell here took far took on far too many deliveries than he could handle. And it's not like we have anyone else on hand to help, either. Sorry I caused you so much trouble. If only I had one more person to take on deliveries. That would be so much help. Oh, but where could I possibly find someone who would help on such short notice? Yeah, that might be tough. Anyhow, bye. <laughs> well, never mind about that. You're here for some of our delicious soba noodles, aren't you? How about if I lend a hand? I'm sure you need all the help you can get. Would you? That would be wonderful. We just don't have enough delivery people here. You'll have to visit three locations. The drugstore and Karayushi Arcade. Mahjong Parlor in East Hatsumachi and Info Center in Hatsumachi. So Drugstore Mahjong Info Center. The sub you'll be delivering is in these boxes, so do you take them around to all three locations? You got five minutes. I don't want to keep your cu our customers late waiting, so hop to it. I'll pay you a uh, part-timer's wages if you do a good job. There are Drugstore and Karayushi Arcade, Mahjong Parlor in East Hatsumachi and Info Center in Hatsumachi. All right, I'll deliver these as quickly as humanly possible. Be right back. Just gotta find where any of those places are. Good. They're so floppy. Um. Where? Ah, uh, shit. The drugstore in arcade, and then Hatsumachi Mahjong and information. Those two places.
All right, well, the drugstore is right here. The drugstore where we just had story in. The drugstore in, in Karayushi Arcade. I'm sure they've been waiting for their soba. They... <laughs> They basically could have just walked over. I mean, this area is so small that basically everyone could have, but like, if there was really that much of an issue, like, it was right here. <laughs> she could have delivered it. Anyone could have delivered it. It was in the same street. <laughs> Hello? Your Okinawan soba delivery has arrived. I, yeah. That's, it's a little weird to say that when you're here in the place that is that region, Kiryu. Hello, would you like some American food in America? I am American, serving American food to American. Yes, you got here pretty quickly too, thanks. That, wait, wasn't the, is that what the owner looked like earlier? The old man that's the dad of the manga artist? I thought she, I thought he was old. Maybe I just forgot what he looked like immediately. Mmm, <laughs> smell those pork ribs. You just can't beat them. Well, here's what I owe you, see you next time. Okay, time to get my next customer. How big are these orders? <laughs> like, it's really funny watching him run like this. Alright, so Hatsumachi is north of the river. I need to get to information and mahjong. Uh, I don't really know where... In okay, there's no, there's, no, there's no collision. It's good to know. Cabaret, M Store, Emishiro, Kerokyen, Night Guide. Shogi? Wait, was it Shogi? Maybe it was Shogi. The Night Guide is probably the information place. Probably. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> It'd be easier to do this kind of quest in Kamurocho, where I've actually spent four games learning about the place. Okay, maybe it's not that place. I did think they said Mahjong, right? Mahjong Camp. Oh, that's where it is. So Mahjong and, and information seem to be like right next to each other. Tick tack, tick tack, tick tack, tick tack, tucka tucka. The information center in Hatsumachi. They must have been waiting for their soba. Hello? The Okinawan soba delivery is ready. It has arrived, I mean, words. And not a moment too soon. I'm ravenous. Come on and bring it over. Here's what I owe you. Now I gotta eat fast while the place is empty. They said the information place, and I was like, oh, yeah, like, like you know, like, an information desk, like as often in tourist locations, where you can find out all the cool attractions in the area. But it's not. It's one of those fucking cabaret information places, like in Kamurocho. It's like, like she said it so tamely, but it's like, it's like, look at all the girls and the other girls. These are all the places where you can girls. And, like, none of it is, uh... It has nothing to do with like, and here's where the Ferris wheel is, and here's where you can get some nice ice cream for your kids, and like, or anything like how a tourism desk tends to be. But, oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Gotcha. The Mahjong parlor along the Kubochi River. I'm sure they've been waiting for the sopa. My beloved pork rib noodles have arrived at last. Mmm. It smells divine. I'm gonna eat them at least once a week, you know. Well, here's a, here's what I owe you. Thanks for coming out this way. That's all my deliveries. Which oh, is let me run around with these funny boxes more. <laughs> I want I want a heat action with them. I want to deliver a head with them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're back. Didn't expect to see you so soon. This is everything they paid me. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. 
You really helped us out in a pinch, so I'd like to give you a little something. Oh, and I threw an extra in there to show my gratitude. What the fuck? 10,000 yen? Oh, isn't the most expensive thing that you that I can order from you 800 yen? What? How is this a part-time wage? How do you make money? <laughs> Next time you visit, you can just relax and enjoy your meal, I promise. I don't know, people keep thanking me for helping them with their business. So I guess the idea is often just that they want their customers to be happy and for things to be stable. And you know, just like the principle of the matter to be sort of the matter to be sorted out. And that's like more important than the question of whether or not they drive a profit with this particular exchange. So it's here we got they gotta keep all the customers satisfied so they don't like leave. He's around here somewhere. I know he is. Are you playing hide and seek? Oh wait, he's blind. What are you doing? I'm blind. This is the only way to get in touch with changes in the town. I see. What do you want, anyway? Oh no, he said he's blind and your response was, I see. <laughs> Kiryu. <laughs> You're the hitman Egami, aren't you? And what if I am? I'd like you to come with me to the Honest Living Association. The HLA, huh? And what might your name be? It's Kiryu. Kiryu-kun, you've lied to me. Lied? You said I'd like to cut you to come with me, but I could tell you're already prepared to fight me if need be. You're ready to start pr trading punches. That's why you're so wound up. Isn't that right? If you come along with me, we can avoid any unnecessarily un any unnecessary violence. Ah, I see. But I'm afraid I, I can't just let myself be taken away without putting up a fight. If you wouldn't mind, could you humor me with a round? If I lose, then I'll do exactly as you say. You don't leave me much choice. All right, fine. Oh, how- <laughs> ah! Oh, god damn it. Uh. Fuck, they're like from a different video game. Ah! Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. God damn it. I'm trying to hit counter attacks, but he keeps grabbing me, but I reflexively hit the counter because I saw him move. But then that counts as failing the QTE for fighting the counter because I hit something besides X. It's so frustrating. These guys move at a speed that's like, I don't know how anyone deals with it. Let alone the whole part where they have like super armor and don't get stunned. I can combo through your combos and so on. The fuck? I was hitting X. I was actually hitting X that time. I was changing my strategy to dodging, so I was ready to hit X, so I was hitting X already when that happened, and it still didn't work. How do you fight these guys? Like, for real? The fuck? Nothing fucking works! Ugh. No, not even that strategy. Oh, fuck.
Why do I have so much Tor in her? Oh no. That's not what I want at all. I'm basically cheating. We Oh god, he's still too badass. The secret is to stab the blind man with a sword. Haha, <laughs> he's not ready for that. You can't hear swords. <laughs> Oh no, I'm doing crimes. Oh shit. Oh, that would have been it too. I'm a fool. There you go. It's X, circle, triangle, square, circle, X. I believe that's the combo every time. I have to admit, you're tough, Kiryu-kun. How can you react so quickly when you can't see? I use the air. The air? How? I can feel how the air is moving about. That serves as my eyes. That's definitely not possible. By sensing the direction the air is flowing, I can pick up on even... My opponent's state of mind? Definitely not. In some ways, it's superior to conventional sight. Yeah, if when you're fucking daredevil and we're fetishizing blindness by creating it to a superpower in a cartoonish way, that's almost condescending. Why is someone like you involved with the Reapers? I was looking for the man who made me blind. When I lost my sight, I lost my livelihood as well, you see. But now in hindsight, I realize being blind made me aware of so much more than what I could see. Not everything can be seen with the eyes. Maybe I should actually be grateful he took my sight. I see. Secure you. You gotta stop that. Well, a promise is a promise. Let's go to the HLA. Alright, let's go. I see is just his default response to every time anyone says anything, basically. And it's unquestioned here. It's like, alright, maybe don't. Alright. Uh, I think he just said to beat everybody. I see. That's a relief, then. Well, actually, I just got a call from Ibuki. He said they got some information on Shinzaki, the scout for the Reapers. What? Yes, sir. And Ibuki-san needs your help. We finally got a chance to uncover what's behind all this. Would you be willing to help us out with this one? Yeah, let's do it. Please accept this as a token of our deep appreciation for all you've done with us. We're counting on you, curious son. Take care. So it sounds like I just finished all of Ryukyu. So the next one, the next mission should be. Uh, I think that means the next mission is going to be back in Kamurocho, probably in the final chapter or something. Why do they only sell Tarinur? That's the least useful one. What if you sold the good ones instead? Have you considered that? Remember when I thought the blow up doll was going to do something? <laughs> I was like, ah, but it's a really weird item. I should probably just buy it just, you know. Just for when it comes up, I'm sure it will. <laughs> Because I, I got trained that that way. It's like, oh wow, they keep selling tissues everywhere. That's weird. Why would I want tissues? And then you keep getting quests that require tissues to continue. And it's like, so now I just little, I'll just like buy stuff like weird items like that when I see them. Maybe there is a side quest somewhere for tissue for a, a blow up doll. And I just never found it. The bloody binding, gross. Fucking wash it. <laughs> it's very. It's like a 
It's a disease vector. It's dangerous. I am injured. Completion. Damn it. <laughs> Mini games revelations weapon modding 76 parts? I've only done half the heat actions, it looks like. Half the coin lockers. There is a food completionism menu and a hostess completionism menu. Mini games? Huh. So this is just complete side, 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 side quest completionism. It doesn't try to make a super overriding percentage that covers the entire game. Like you don't make a giant overall percentage and then combine all of these things and the side quests and so on into it. Okay. Because uh, the completion menu in other games would show how many sub-stories are in the entire game and how many, for example, Hitman missions there are in the entire game. But all I can do is this one, so you can only see you can only see the missions that you've found so far. Okay. I was looking for a total. Like you've done twelve out of thirty-seven thousand Hitman missions. You will be here for the rest of your life, or something like that. Because you never know. Give me your burgi. I need heals. I require healing. Ah, uh, need healing. Ah. Uh. Red warrior needs food. Kill me. There we go. Let's do one more past the substory menu, because that's the best I can do. Nope. That's the wrong zone. Amarocho. 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 Okinawa, but only at nighttime, and that's it. Yeah, I did it. I have caught up on every single side quest that I currently have access to, as far as I can tell. Except for all the secret ones, obviously. You know, I just pursue the ones I find. So, but uh, all the ones I've started are done. I could have not paid for this, no. This means I get to continue the story. I guess I should save. I'm gonna be that involved. I can finally, at long last, give that one kid his manga he asked for in like chapter like four or something like that when I first got to Kamracho. That led, left, led me on this whole sequence here. He's gonna be so happy and or disappointed in me because of how long it took me to get it to him and now it's like, dude, it already came out here. You didn't get it to me early at all. You failed as a parent. I'm leaving. That's obviously how the story will go. I'm allowed to go to the airport? I can just leave at this point in the story? I've got messages. Uh-oh. Who's on my beach? Get off my beach. A finely aged Mac. What's up, Kiryu-san? Word on the street is you've been busting heads left and right down in Okinawa. How do I know? I just do. Haha. <laughs> Don't ask a man to share his secrets. BT dubs. I've been peeping this Yakuza series on, t on TV lately. It's off the hook. That's all I wanted to tell you. Pal of mine down in Okinawa says there's some asshole plastered out of his mind over at Hatsumachi. And let me tell you, not all drunks are created equal. 
Turns out this guy isn't any old boozer. He also knows some real badass martial arts moves. What a combination, right? Speaking of, you ever hear about the movie Drinking Tiger? It's all about that kick-ass martial artist Fong Wei Sung. Anyway, head up, hop over to Hatsumachi and check this guy out. Let me get the time. <sighs> head over to the place you just were until this exact moment, and then the moment you left it, I said you told you to go there, and I could have told you this is earlier, but fuck it. I wonder if there's like a leave the area and come back trigger that's mandatory to make Mac attack messages happen. As long as I'm in the world, he won't tell me. Anyway, he said Hatsumachi, so it should be the same region as last time. Let's look for a guy that looks drunk, I guess. He's gonna pull out some drunken tiger shit. Drunken, drunken master shit. Some Jackie Chan shit. Some Brad Wong shit. Is that him? Nope. Oh, hey. Oh, no, that's a thug. He just happened to turn around at that exact moment and not attack me. Because, of course. Of course. Aha, I lured him in with the shinies. Like a pigeon. Jesus. Ah. Officially done with your shit? How'd you do that? <laughs> How did you make me go through you without damaging you? Are you magic? There we go. 35. That's not who I was looking for. I'm not misremembering, right? This is called the Hatsumachi re- yeah. Show me your drunken powers. I need to see your powers. I'm not leaving till I see this. Pretty please. Is it you? Nope, he's just another- ow. But I don't wanna. Uh -huh. Oh, there's more of you. Not fair. Whoop. Try my try all new delete a thug. You'll be amazed by the results. It's rude to interrupt. No, 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 no. That's not a drunken boy. He's another irate thug. All right, let's, let's check this email again. It's just some guy that's drunk. He's just drunk in Hatsumachi. That's all it says. It doesn't say where. So I'm like, is he in a bar somewhere? I need to check the interiors of buildings for this dude, Arino. Ooh, shiny. Where was that? Wow. These are hidden. So I must have passed him already and just didn't he just didn't stand out. Normally, whoever the event is, is some guy that stands out because they seem to be like a standalone image. No, that's not the words I was going for. They, they're usually like a unique character doing a weird pose or animation because they're specifically placed for that mission. Where the fuck is he? 
Maybe it's a glitch? Like how they told me, like how I found that one guy before the notification for the quest happened? He did wait till I went there. What if the next piece of the story is that I come back here at night time? So maybe if I proceed with the story a little bit, maybe it'll become nighttime finally. That thing I've been waiting all game for to happen, because night nighttime is when I'll have the chance to. Uh... That guy's swaying. Maybe he's drunk. No, you can't do the camera thing here. But, like we needed to be nighttime so I can do look at the haunted key lockers. Ooh. So maybe I need to come here at nighttime, and that's when the drunk guy will be around? Because I don't see a character that looks weird. I think Mac just wasted my goddamn time! Are you a drunk? Are you a drunk? Mac! Mac, how could you fuck me like this? Mac!